On behalf of the team here in Durban, we'd just like to send our condolences out to uh, the Mandela family. And we know that this is a sad time for them and uh, you know they're in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, we all know what uh, Nelson Mandela has done, not only for a country as a whole, but for the world. I mean, he set a fine example um, as a human being and, and uh, you know, how he treated other people. And I think personally for me, um, I never got to meet the man, but I felt like I knew him. Um, I think he's uh, influenced many lives around the world and he's definitely lived a life of significance. And uh, we can take a uh, leaf out of his book uh, for many pages. Um, and it is a sad time as a country, but I think we should rejoice in what he's achieved. Um, and you look back, uh, you know, some 20 years ago and where we were as a nation and where we are now, you know. And uh, I think we can look back and, and rejoice and smile and, and, and what he's achieved as one man uniting a nation now under a different flag and uh, with, with a greater purpose. And uh, we're very grateful for what he's done as a human being for our nation and for the world. As a sportsman, you look back to the 1995 World Cup and, and the way that you know, he brought a nation together at that time. You know, he had just uh, taken up office in 1994 and um, you know, when he was wearing a Francois Pino's jersey with a number six on his back. And you know, he just uh, embodied what it was to be a South African at that stage. And I think as a, as a sportsman myself, that'll be a memory that uh, will last forever. I woke up this morning, uh, my wife actually told me uh, about the sad, the very sad news that we received uh, today uh, about the passing of Futatu Nelson Mandela. Uh, you know, he's, he's a person that I think, you know, you don't get to see, in, 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 we'll ever see in our lifetime again, you know. So just for me, from my side, uh, personally, just to send our condolences to the Mandela family. You know, we've lost someone that has uh, changed and played a huge role to the South Africa that we have today. Uh, you know, uh, being a sportsman myself, we, we've seen how how he encouraged, uh, you know, the whole nation to come together when there's big sports days. And he was a big lover of sport. We always saw him at the World Cups when, when Springboks were playing. And, you know, he always told us that sport is the one thing that brings the nation together. Uh, you know, so it's a, it's a very sad day, but uh, you, you, I'm, I'm very fortunate. I'm very lucky to have, to have known Udado Mandela. To me, he, I mean, he means a lot. I think, as you said, he's opened up a lot of doors for, for the nation, for certain individuals, different races, and, uh, you know, he's a big icon, and I think, you know, many will travel in his footsteps, but uh, there's no man that has walked that way, and I think we're really grateful that he's lived the life he's lived. So I think, if, for me, I think we should celebrate his death more than anything, because he's lived a really inspirational life. There's quite a bit, I think, we can actually learn from him, but uh, more than anything, for me, I think it was it's just working together to to accomplish our goals, obviously, and just um, the importance of education. I think he used to highlight that quite a lot. And I think with something like that, you know, you can go places. But and also his, his perseverance and in life. I think he's faced a lot of challenges, but he just stuck to one thing. And in the end, I think he came out quite victorious. So that's a very big lesson for most of us. It is a very sad day. I mean, people talk about it and uh, people have been expecting it to come for a long time now. You know, I remember first time I met Madiba, I mean, at that stage he was an old man already, you know, so, and I've been out of the country, and obviously it was a massive impact in Australia when I was there, when, when he first got really sickly and people thought that that was the end, you know, and uh, so as I said, I mean, eventually it's come, you know, and uh, I, I read obviously a lot of things on, on the news this morning and, and, and uh, quotes from people, and I mean, all of them are really apt, you know, the, the, the sort of profound uh, impact he's had on people, you know, from Tiger Woods, through to you know local South African sports people to you know politicians around the world and as I said you know I was lucky enough to live in another country and just see the impact that he has you know I was watching the ashes this morning and both England and Australia stand and, and obviously remember him so you know not often is it that you get a guy who is a, is a politician uh, around the world who has an impact on everybody around the world you know so yeah it is a very sad day but I suppose at the end of the day it was always inevitable he was never going to last uh, humanly possibly to last forever but as John Smith says his legacy will go on forever.